Uh, study martial arts since I was in childhood. You no, know, that probably is uh, when I was uh, 12 years old. Uh, because I hang out a lot, my friend, you know, they get involved in martial arts also. So I studied early age. I studied for judo uh, when I was 12 years old, uh, and taekwondo at the same time for three, four years period of time. And later on, a friend of mine, you know, uh, Jason now, and brought me into his academy school. You no, know, they call Chinese people. They call Gun, you no know, dojo, you not know, Japanese, and introduced me to you know what he studied. And then I figured out, wow, what's this? You no, know, I like it because it's not really formal classes, you no, know, and they call Wing Chun, and it's for me, it's not really uh, really new because you no, know, in our school, you no, know, in the high school, that moment we have all we have fight, you know. One time, uh, we are walking outside. The people already had a fight already. This guy, you no, know, beat up this guy so a couple seconds, you no. Know. I said, God, my goodness, that's great, you no. Know. This guy can able so quick to finish the fight, you no. Know. And yeah, I started judo, I taekwondo. Get, when I get in fights, it seems it takes so long, you no. Know? And I want to get over it really quickly, you no. Know? I said, God, that's my system. That's that's what I love to do it, you no. Know? Because it makes sense for the street self friend. I want to make it quick, you no. Know? That's reason I starting with the uh, with my friend the school, you no. Know? And the teacher is called Ju Wan, and is you no. Know, he is a uh, have school. He teaching in China before, you no. Know, before he come to Hong Kong. And also pretty much the same family with the Yiman family, and so I start that. I really interested in for the Wing Chun that I keep on. The, I quit the judo, I quit the karate, you no know, taekwondo, and then I focus on Wing Chun. That seems that. You know. We don't play games. We don't try to grab each other, try to walk. You hear? But that's a part of the training. That's what sometimes they do. They swing the Muay Thai, they let the guy pick a weapon. That is a concept. That is concept, you learn in the timing, you learn everything. But when you go understand the concept, that you understand what? What is reality? What different? Everything has a concept, because concept is the thought. Okay? Techniques is only you thinking. When your thought is really slow, it doesn't matter what you think. You're not important because what happened? Your thinking is not stay. It's just a movement, it's a thought, it's a flow, it's energy flow. As long as you can flow, you can flow. You are a matter of to understand it. Flow. But you will choppy. And then what happened? That you can't see. You are not with smooth. Uh, in, in the Wing Chun had the three form. The first form they call Simon Tao, a little imagination. Or maybe it's a for myself I say it's learning for myself. Also learn structure, uh, learn your position. And second form they call Chum Q is a is learning your forearm, which up the contact, you know, and searching for the opponent to be, you know, the, the forearm, the kill sound. And the fourth called beauty is a really, the, for the, the form is a, like just finger, elbow, you know, range, you know, longer range and short range. But I emphasize, this time I emphasize a lot, you know, symptom, because symptom is very important for Wing Chun system to help you to understanding the foundation, it's very important. I, the first one is really the cause then no lap chain, no jumpe, where the position. Even this moment here is really important. When you're lifting the hand up, so you gotta make sure your shoulder will last. So a sample, if the person hold my hand like this moment, is this is only self a sample, no learning understanding about yourself. If I use a muscle too much muscle, no way I can lifting up. If I focus my low diaphragm, that means it's my low dante. I'm lifting up slowly and gradually, and then lifting him up here, the move. Because when you're lifting up, you're not lifting on the hand. You focus on the standard line. So my focus on my low diaphragm and go full for line to all the way, the back. So you can able to what? Follow the line and then go what? Move. So he can able to move it easily. Instead of trying to lift it up your hand, because no, no, no way you can lift the hand. It's just put too, too much strength, too much stronger. So I'm living on the line, follow the line, and then focus on the diaphragm. That's number one. So, so beginning, they can number one. Number two, if they put on here, make sure they ground themselves, put the energy flow, focus on ground. And you don't want to bend too much, you don't want to lift. So at the same time, you open the wide, you can. And make sure, control your low diaphragm. So very important, your tailbone has to go up. So stomach in, chest is open. 
okay? For this moment, you can able to test. If I stand too straight, it can push me all easily, okay? So very important for myself, I open up, I slow my gravity, and then he push me this moment here, I will last. It's more like, like the what? My muscle is relaxing. Okay, and you hear times, palms up, palms up, try. Ten. One, two, okay? Make sure, get used to this. Don't go back, it's here. Okay, you hold right there, you go here. You hold elbow. So make him hold my hand like this first. Okay, like this. So here. Okay, he hold me, don't do this, okay? So I don't go. He told, hold, hold me the two hands. I cannot do it. Only way to do it is elbow. Okay? To get a part of the cycle, you go hold like one hand, two hands, doesn't matter. You go elbow. Try to use a hand. No work. Elbow go first. My first Wing Chun teacher is the Sifu Lok Yu. And uh, he's the second disciple of uh, Yip Man. And uh, Yip Man is my Sifu later on. Right after I learned from Sifu Lok Yu about four, five years time, he made me his uh, assistant instructor in the branch school in uh, Kowloon City. Because I one of the Kung Fu brothers called Pun Tong, he introduced me to Sifu Yip Man. And Sifu Yip Man found out that I really work hard and he feel like, oh, I, I can choose him as my private student. When I train with him, I just train privately. So he go through all from the beginning and explain to me uh, why Wing Chun do it this way. He explained all the details on the form. He tells me the whole story of Wing Chun, why Wing Chun have this kind of training, why Wing Chun have only the form, have the dummy form, have the tripod kicking form, and how should we train for fighting and end up totally big different story, like what normally the people learn in the public school. Because I, the way he taught me, he said, don't believe what I teach you. Try it out yourself. Uh, if anything I show you, maybe it works on me, but it may be a lot of work on you. So you got to find out yourself. It's just like in English, we say, uh, apply it. He emphasized a lot on basic training, and he don't like his students to go outside to start trouble. But unfortunately, I'm not the one. <laughs> so I end up go outside to fight, and then I found out if I just learn the basic, if I don't apply it, it's not going to work on me. So I feel like, hey, wait a minute, <laughs> four or five years time, what can I get? So I feel like to quit. But at that time, Sifu Yip Man come approach to me. And that's the time I start training with him until, until the trip I come to USA uh, before he died. That's about almost two years time under him. Now, let me put it this way. Muk Yan Zhong is really important training in Wing Chun too. It shows you a lot of fighting technique. You learn the form in the wooden dummy, it's no use. Even though you spend 10 years hitting in the wood, because the dummy cannot hit you back. The dummy is sit there deadly. And you hit the wood, it only hurts your hand. Because hey, when you fight with a live person, he will hit back and he will moving around. So it, learning the Wing Chun dummy form is just like the form, like what I say. Like we have three forms, we have the dummy form, we have the kicking form, but it's all it's the form. You have to break it down how do you apply it. Okay, let me explain a little bit about the basic idea of Wing Chun. And then you may understand a little bit. Alright? Now physically, I'm an old man like almost 60 years old. Like no matter how many bowls of rice I eat now, I won't be grow taller than my student Lawrence. He's taller than me, he's bigger than me, he's stronger than me. He got more power than I have, and he have a longer reach than I have. So, now, show me the, the reach. So he can hit me on the face. No, no way that I can reach to him, because like, the reach is almost a whole fit dis difference. All right, now for instance, just for instance only, it's not to compare any martial art. Now for instance, suppose he come in to hit me. He hit me, 
I brought. Boom, I hit him. Boom. I heard him. I heard him. If I am that fast. But unfortunately, by the time when I brought, boom, he hit me first <laughs> before I hit him. So because I physically and bodily, he's larger than me. So if I using that kind of technique to fight, I will definitely end up an exchange blow or I will get punched before I hit him. But in Wing Chun, we don't do it this way. In Wing Chun, we're using our body mechanism, like uh, we're using defense and offense simultaneously to counter certain technique. This is only like a scenario. I'm not saying you have to fight like this. Uh, this is some kind of basic training we do in our classroom. But later on, fighting is a total different story because fighting we consider consisting a lot of uh, theory, uh, timing, technique, speed, reflex, and so and so, so many things that we can talk about that later. Now, for instance, when this guy throw me a punch, boom, that's the same time I hit him. Because I, once I put up a hand, uh, this is like body language, if I put up a hand like this, I'm going to invite him to hit me on the face. All I do is cover myself. The same time, boom, cover, I hit him already. The same time I do defense and offense simultaneously. It's not that I hit him hard. Uh, let me explain this again. Suppose you put a palm like this. When I hit the palm, boom, I will blow the palm away. It won't hurt him because no matter how hard I hit, I blow it away. But how about when he walk in to attack me? Boom, he walked with the punch. It's not that I hit him.